Hey guys, if you haven't, make sure to subscribe to me, turn on push notifications, and like this video. Hey guys, we're back at the garage today. I'm gonna show you what happens. Let's, let's say you have a problem with it, where it's not closing right. It closes, but then it, it, it tries to close, but it reopens, or it closes, and it, it reopens itself, and it just won't stay closed. First off, I'm gonna tell you, it may just be a little problem. It may be those little things down there. These are sensors. This, on this garage, there are two sensors. Well, mo all of them have two sensors. The other one's over there. I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom in. No, can't. So I'll walk over to it. It's right there. That one right there. Oh my god, it's still not showing it. Come on, show it. There it is. Now it shows it. Oh. This one right here, this one will send a little beam. There's a little green light there, which you really can't see because of the lighting outside. It shoots a, a little invisible laser or a beam, and it shoots it all the way over there. This one. If it, this one right here, it, this one will receive it. If it receives the beam, then it, it will display a solid red light, as you can see. Now if something were to step in front of it, keep it up from closing, you can see it blinking. It won't allow the door to close. So we're gonna borrow, and I'm going to show you guys how you can close your garage door without doing it. Well, there's two ways you could. First, I'm going to set this up real quick. All right, I put a shovel in the door. And I'm actually going to, I'm actually going to put it, I'm actually going to put it like that. Cover up the sensor so that way the, do, the door still can close. But because it cannot receive it, the garage is not going to allow itself to close. And I'm going to show you how you can close it two ways. All right, so, and we go here and push this. See how it stopped? Now it reopened itself. I'm gonna push it again and show, show the door. Stops itself and reopens, see that? That's because the sensor's coming up and it's not gonna squish anybody or anything. Now, there's a way to get it to close. So there's two things you could do. There could be the, or start out with the worst way. You can obviously do it. You can obviously use the red emergency cord and close it that way. See, I'm able to close it just fine. Just fine like that. Just fine that way. Let's put it back up. That one works, but there's a better way you can do it. So it actually locks. <laughs> If you saw my emergency cord video or how to open the garage, whatever the video is called, if you saw that video where it showed how to open and close the garage manually using that red cord, um, you should be able to know how. You should be able to. You could. You should be able to know that it, the door cannot be locked unless it has to do with that thing that you saw on the outside I showed that somehow locks it, which I don't know how it does. So, yeah. So make sure you check that out if you don't know, because. This thing will not, there's no way to lock it if it's in the open position. Anyway, I'm going to show you the better way. Now we're going to go over to this thing right here. It has to do with this. Remember how I pushed it? I'm going to go over and show that again. I pushed it. It won't close because of the sensor. But if you press and hold it, it'll still close. But don't take the ticker off or else it'll reopen. You know, Just press and hold, wait for it to close. Keep your finger on it. Now I took my finger off. It's like doing independent service on an elevator. You have to hold, or fire service, you have to hold door closed till it's closed. The only thing that doesn't make sense, well, the only thing, the other thing is, well, now that we know it's closed, the only other thing, the way to get it to open, uh, you should be able to use a remote thing um, to open it, but you cannot use a remote to close it. You cannot press and hold that. Because it's only gonna send a signal, as like this, you can hold it and it knows it's holding a button. So, you can just press it like that, like I did. It'll reopen like normal. It's not gonna stop. It's not gonna stop itself, even though it senses, because it's opening, it's not gonna squish anybody by opening. But then again, you cannot just push it. You have to press and hold it.
keep holding. Oh, let go. Press and hold it. See how the lights light on. And it's off. And it are closed. And the light does go off every time you push it. So yeah, it's basically like normal. So if you don't know what the problem is, maybe maybe leave me a comment in case you have a small problem that could be fixed. Um, if it's a sensor or something, I could probably give you some information. But if it's not like anything that small, um, leave me a comment else, and you might have to, you know, leave me a comment if you don't. If you're not sure whether I can fix it or not, or give you steps, I would definitely try to comment me and see if I could fig figure it out for you. Because, you know, I, I would like to. Because, I mean, I'm all about tech and mechanics, as you know. Um, so if you don't know, if you don't know whether or not, leave a comment. If, if I don't know, you might have to call an electrician or a, a, a technician or an electrician, whatever it is. You know what I mean. So yeah, this way open it. We'll watch the chain real quick as it opens. And that little stopper there stops it from opening anymore. Now we're gonna reclose it. We're gonna just close it up now. And then I'm gonna take the shovel out and then it's because remember you gotta hold it, lights off. I feel like it actually shuts a little slower. I don't know. But yeah, you guys get the idea. You just press and hold the button to close it if it's not closing right. And if it still reopens, use the manual technique. Because that'll be the only that'll be the, your only other option. Unless you have horsepower and you can pull that chain out. I mean, that's like really hard to do. So yeah, I'm now gonna remove the shovel. And yeah, you guys can see light from outside. Because of the door, see that? I'm using my foot to kick that in and out. You can see that. Now if I take the shovel out. Perfect. It's like when it's in like that, when I had it covered up, the signal could not be sent to it. But it wouldn't allow the door to close unless you press and hold the thing. So make sure, make sure that the light is always on solid when you're going to close it. Because make sure, make sure that these things don't get bent. Because that's what happened to me a while ago. Is that this thing got bent, the green one right here, got bent. Got bent and it went on, it went on closed. And I, I found out later on it had to be because of that. So that's all I really got from this video. Okay? So as we reopen it real quick, open it one more time and close it. You'll be able to see that I can easily close it. Stop it in that way. Didn't have my finger on it because the sensor was off. And the sensor was um, ready. So I didn't have to do anything there. So that's it for the video. Make sure to leave a like and CLS. Well, that's what CLS means. Comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Hey guys, make sure to become a fellow James Tuber today by subscribing to me and check out my similar video.